Hey, welcome to another video from SQL Maestros and today I'm going to talk about buffer pool usage. This is a part of a couple of videos that I'm going to do in uh, SQL Server memory troubleshooting uh, topic. Now, again, this uh, video is inspired by some questions that uh, commonly keeps coming up in forums where um, DBAs and developers, they're complaining about uh, SQL Server memory consumption. And a common remark always is that SQL Server is hogging up memory. Well, the first thing we need to understand is SQL Server loves uh, memory. The more you give it, the more it will take it. And why not? Because it's always great that SQL Server can uh, have enough memory so that it can cache all those data pages and index pages in memory and can serve them faster uh, to the client. But when we see that servers with, let's say, 64 GB RAM, 128 gig of RAM, and even more uh, with uh, such a high amount of uh, physical RAM, um, the, the more you add, the more they get consumed. Uh, what we need to uh, see is which component inside SQL Server is consuming maximum amount of memory. And by far, you will see that buffer pool uh, probably always consumes the maximum amount of memory. This is one of the uh, memory consumers and more technically, uh, one of the memory clerks that will always have a very high usage because this is the uh, consumer that will reserve uh, memory for your data and index pages and all those databases and objects that you have which are like um, you know um, MBs and gigabytes in, in size buffer pool uh, uh, is the clerk that will give memory to um, cache those pages inside the memory. So let's try to understand uh, this concept of buffer pool uh, usage and how you can actually break, the, break that memory. First is figuring out the overall server memory and then trying to find out which component is consuming maximum amount of memory and then trying to break down the buffer pool uh, memory into databases and objects, uh, which is trying to find out which database is consuming maximum amount of physical memory and which object inside that database is consuming maximum amount of memory. Let's jump to demo and understand the buffer pool concept and the memory consumption inside SQL Server. Let's get started. Now before we jump into buffer pool usage and I show you a lot of different DMVs uh, including the buffer descriptors, first let's go and see the uh, memory usage by SQL Server instance. So I will jump into performance monitor and I rely a lot on this counter which is total server memory uh, which gives kind of very accurate consumption of sql server memory so you can see we are consuming close to uh, 2.3 uh, gb of memory right now and this counter total server memory belongs uh, is actually inside this object memory manager so all that you have to do is when you click on this add button you uh, traverse uh, the uh, server name and this is a named instance SQL Maestros and under that you have object memory manager and the counter total server memory. So the current cons consumption is about 2.3 GB and as I said now we just want to really understand what is this bifurcation of 2.3 GB and uh, how much uh, is being used by the buffer pool. So let's go and uh, now look into this 2.3 GB with one more query, which is um, uh, looking into the DMV. So DMV, there is a DMV, uh, DMOS process memory. And if I ex uh, try to do some mathematics here, even the DMV gives me close to the same amount of memory that I see. There is, of course, a slight difference, but I am not going to talk about that right now. But yeah, more or less, uh, this is the same uh, num number that we see in the perfmon, which means right now the database engine is consuming about 2.2, 2.3 GB of uh, memory. And now um, the clerks. So as I said, if we look into uh, sysdmos uh, memory clerks, uh, we want to see the bifurcation of this 2.3 GB. So here is this clerk, which will allow you to see how much memory is being consumed by each component inside SQL Server and SQL buffer pool is also a clerk. So if I execute this, you can see currently um, memory clerk XTP. Well, this is for in-memory OLTP. XTP stands for XTP processing and that was the internal code name and it 
is consuming about 879 MB. Then you have the cash store, um, which is uh, for the cash plans, which is uh, 243 uh, MB. And then for the boundaries, you have some amount of memory there. And now comes buffer pool. So you can see buffer pool is um, sitting pretty nicely at about 140 MB or so, uh, and is really not consuming much. I mean, this is this is probably one of the lowest values you will ever see. I have just started this VM, and that's why the consumption is so low. Now, um, we have seen the amount of memory being used by the server overall and the different components out there. But yes, the purpose of the demo is to kind of show you the usage by the buffer pool and then br breaking that memory up into databases and objects. And this DMV does the job, uh, which is DIM OS buffer descriptors. So let me first uh, execute this and show what is the kind of output. So this DMV has one record for each page, each 8 KB page that is there in SQL Server memory. And currently you can see about, um, if I zoom in, about 15,000 uh, pages are there in SQL Server uh, memory right now. And, the, and this is the description, as the name says, buffer descriptors. This is the description of each page that is there in the memory. So you have the you uh, it gives you this page what is the page id uh, to which file it belongs to to which database it belongs to and from allocation unit id you can find out to which object it, uh, it belongs to what kind of page it is is it a data page is it an index page so on and so forth it also tells you whether the page is a dirty page or, or is it a clean page and uh, of course this information is a lot of data but then um, this granular information is of little use. You, of course, want to see more summarized information. And now let's go and look into the buffer pool usage. So if I execute this, uh, which is simple mathematics on the uh, buffer descriptors DMV, you can see that um, ignoring resource DB, the hidden database, the user database are, bases are hardly consuming anything at all. So you can see AdventureWorks databases are just consuming about 5 MB so, uh, uh, and of course uh, very low values. Uh, as I said, we have I've just started this VM and not only consumption by the database, you can also see the buffer pool consumption by each object in the database. So if I execute this portion, because there is an allocation unit ID and using that we can figure out uh, how much memory is being consumed by each object in a specific database. So let's say I choose 2014 and I can see the consumption of each object uh, there. Now uh, let's go back and look into uh, the first query again where you see the consumption by each database. And let's say AdventureWorks 2014 is sitting at 5 MB. Let me fire up a new query and let me simply say select um, star from sales. Oops, I select star from sales dot sales order header. Uh, let's take this as one of the uh, tables and let's take one more sales order detail. So these two uh, tables have a decent amount of data and let's execute them. The moment I execute these two queries, now what has happened is all the pages that belonged to these two tables are being fetched from disk into memory. And now I will probably see that the consumption of uh, AdventureWorks 2014 will go uh, right on the top most likely. So let's go and execute this again. and. As you see, AdventureWorks 2014 comes to 21 MB. So earlier, as you see, it was 5 MB and now it is 21 MB. So this is this is how memory is getting consumed. And uh, as I mentioned before, buffer pool as uh, as a clerk, as uh, as a memory consumer, will be one of the top consumers of memory inside SQL Server because SQL Server loves to keep everything in cache so that it can serve it faster uh, to the client. So uh, uh, that's what it is. Now you see uh, AdventureWorks 2014 sitting at 21 MB, and if you uh, if we go and look into the uh, distribution by uh, objects uh, in AdventureWorks 2014, and you will probably see uh, sales order detail and sales order header uh, right on top because these were the uh, two select statements and I uh, that we fired, and I got all the data from disk into memory. 
so the whole idea of uh, understanding uh, the buffer pool usage uh, is that we uh, need to find out which databases and which objects in those specific databases are consuming maximum memory so really the question about sql server hogging up all the memory well if you give all the memory to sql server sql server will love to take it and will love to utilize it so that's not really a problem uh, what is important is we find out where is that memory being consumed so a quick summary clerks play a very important role uh, as i mentioned before this will help you find out memory consumption by each component inside SQL Server. And of course, in most cases, you will see buffer pool is the largest memory consumer. And then using some of these queries on uh, buffer descriptors, you can figure out uh, which databases, which objects are consuming more memory. You can also get a count, as you see, there was a column there is modified, and you can also get a count of how many clean pages and how many dirty pages are there in the buffer pool. So right now you can see there are about 2,600 clean pages and about 11 dirty pages. So all these clean pages have actually come from those tables that we uh, just uh, executed. And if I say dbcc drop clean buffers, this is a command that you should definitely avoid uh, firing on production server. So I'm just using this for the demo here. I, when I execute this, you know what it means. I'm cleaning all the, uh, I'm clearing the buffer. So I'm, I'm actually getting rid of all the clean pages. Now, if I execute this, you will uh, see that there's absolutely no clean page now. Uh, so they're, they're all removed from the buffer. And yes, I have 11 dirty pages. So, uh, if I fire a manual checkpoint, this is just to show you as a, as a demo, of course, dirty pages have to be written uh, back on the disk. Uh, that's a, This is what a manual checkpoint will do. And let's go and check now how many clean and dirty pages we have. Um, and now you can see dirty. there are no more dirty pages, but because I just executed something and there are a lot of these background threads already running, I have some clean pages. But now you can see even dirty pages are gone. So the last portion of dirty page, clean page, uh, please don't try to play around with all of this in your production server. But the other queries that I showed you about the breakup of buffer pool by the database and by each object, these queries are pretty safe. Um, so hope uh, you have uh, got this concept of uh, monitoring the buffer pool usage, buffer pool consumption in SQL Server. With this, thank you very much. Hope this video was worth your time. See you soon in another video.